oh my God, if I had a $10 million home and I want to sell it, no bueno. That article from CNBC and an article about a couple of guys and how they got into a rental, what they did to get into their rental. Welcome everyone to Real Estate Daily. My name is Troy and every day we go over the latest news in housing, real estate and the mortgage markets. But before we jump in, hit that like button, bing, 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 and then go and hit, the, hit that little button right there, the thumbs up, subscribe button. Now let's jump right into it. Let's go over CNBC. It says unsold mega homes piling up. I mean, they're piling up as mega rich pull back. I think this is pretty funny. I, you know, it's, it's hard to sell a $10 million home now, let alone in a down market and an up market, it doesn't matter. But I just think that, you know, even the, the hardest homes to sell, let's go ahead and say all the negative news out there, CNBC, thank you very much. I'm a little bit disappointed though. My girlfriend, Diana Olick, isn't got her face somewhere plastered on this, but I digress. Let's go on to the next article. Home sellers report drop in profits Q during Q3. This is an interesting article. It, it's kind of confusing. It says that, you know, people that sold their homes in Q3, so that would be June, July, and August. Actually, that's not, that's July, August, September, that they got 54% less than the quarter before, meaning that they netted 54% less. Yet, if we really read this article, it says that they got 48 or 50% more from last year what people netted. So we're just seeing that there's a lot of equity in houses. And even though we're down in equity, you still have a lot of money in most homes across the United States. This is very interesting, even though we see drops, but we still see quite, quite a lot of people have our house rich, but maybe account poor. Next article. I just threw this out there. Fortune has just kind of been really off uh, for me in the housing market. But this is basically showing a shift in the in the market and home values. Everything, uh, actually the rule of thumb for real estate agents, especially ones that talk about, you know, United States and the entire country as a whole, everything starts in the West and then makes itself down to the Midwest and then the East. And this is exactly what this shows. We're showing declining markets. But what, what is interesting is that the negativity has been with this market now for God knows what, two, three months. We've been seeing all kinds of media negativity, yet look at look at what they're looking at. Anything in the red shows that it's a decrease. And the dark red is a down 5%. Home values are down 5%. But the majority of the United States is up 5% or up, up as of May 2022 to September 2022. This isn't making sense. So this just kind of gives me the idea that they'd rather give you the negative news and continue to hammer the negative news until you believe it and you stop looking for a home and then you get caught up in that rental rat race and you get crushed by people, investors that keep raising your rents. This is, this is what this map shows. The majority of the United States are still going up in value in home values. The next article, this is one I kind of mentioned at the very beginning, says the only reason we got the home is, is, is or was that I lied. So what they did, these two guys, and I guess it was in Hell's Kitchen in New York, what they did was they did something crazy. They decided they went ahead and changed their bank statements to make themselves look good. Well, they went out there, looked for a rental. They were well qualified, let's call it as their, their FICO score, but they didn't have a whole lot of money in the bank. That was holding them back. So what did they do? They became bad actors and they decided to go ahead and fudge those bank statements. And then they got what they wanted, a rental. And I'm surprised they even come out with this. Obviously they don't, they don't want to, they don't, talk about their names or anything like this. But it says that landlords are looking for quite a lot. When you have a lot of renters coming to you, you start looking at a couple of things. Obviously, you're looking at your credit report, credit scores, and then how much money they have in the bank. If they were to lose their job, are they still able to pay their rent? You know, and so that's what we're looking for. And because of that, they had at least two or three things. They had a good credit report, they had a good credit score, but they didn't have money in the bank. And that's how they had to, to flip this over and show they had money in the bank. Little, little tail of the tape here. It's that is called fraud. You're representing something that you're actually not. 
So I don't know why they would go ahead and, and write an article in, in, in this, but what the hell, huh? You might as well lie and tell the truth and, and ask for forgiveness than ask for permission to lie in the first place. Last article. So rates, again, we talked about last couple of days, they jumped, and now they're really showing it here. 30-year conforming, conventional, jumped up eight basis points to over seven. So it's 7.10. 15, uh, 15 year conventional went down, uh, 30 year jumbo slightly went down, but look at FHA, it just jumped 10 basis points or 10 and a half basis points. We're just seeing the sevens all over the place. It's a sloppy seven. I'm hoping that these are already gonna be baked in when the Fed meets on November 1st and 2nd, and that my prediction is a, a 75 basis points. If they are not manipulated by our government, if they are manipulated by our government, it's only gonna be 50 basis points. And the whole world's going to rejoice two or three days before the, uh, you know what they are, because I'm, I'm being shadow banned like mad. So, guys, thank you very much for joining us today. I know Emmy's laughing over here. <laughs> I'm entertaining somebody at least, right? <laughs> if you leave a comment below, I'm more than happy to answer for you. Otherwise, have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you on Monday.